Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be getting started with Advanced Rocketry. Hopefully you guys are ready. Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing uh, a little bit of Advanced Rocketry. So we're going to be getting into some Advanced Rocketry, some of the things that we need to set up in preparation for a lot of the things that uh, Advanced Rocketry, advanced rocketry um, uh, needs. So one of the things that we definitely need to get done today um, is getting uh, one of the electric blast furnaces um, that is available that we it's the only way we're gonna be able to get silicon um, and uh, It's pretty slow. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, by the way, I did equip this as a bobble and I set my hotkey um, to F, but the only problem I'm seeing it's not recharging while it's in my bobble slot So yeah, that's an issue yeah, it's not recharging while it's in my bobble slot, but it is a little bit more convenient not having that slot uh, used up. So, um, this right here, I did add a couple of upgrades to it. Um, I did have to upgrade my filters here, and I ended up making um, these special upgrades. Um, and these upgrades allow you to uh, basically stack um, up to 64 of them. And uh, they're pretty nice, but I do need more of them. Right now I don't have enough materials, but... I went ahead and changed this system, so I added a chest to be able to accept um, our dust here, and I'm just having that dust go in here with the wither dust with it marked, and uh, yeah, it seems to be doing a good job. We have tons of wither heads. We're lacking on soul sand, so uh, it's it's producing as much soul sand as it can. It's just it takes some time, and uh, this guy seems to be keeping up ish. If it does uh, clog up some more, sometimes I have to sit there and go through here. If it does end up clogging up with those swords, which is really what the problem is, I may have to go in here and uh, change this again because it is just causing so many issues having looting on there, and I, I don't know why that's such a big deal. But it is. It's causing a huge problem. All right, um, so like I said, let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so uh, let's go into advanced rocketry. And we're going to need a uh, hollow projector. So I need to find the uh, hollow projector wherever it is at because I will not be able to build these machines without that bad boy. All right, it's in here. I think it's called, is it even in here? Yeah, it is right here. All right, so we need these uh, optical sensors. Um, a lot of this stuff is gonna require uh, plates and stuff like that. And I was thinking, what's a good way of getting plates? Uh, that a machine does. And the only one I can think of is the metal former. Um, but I don't want to get into IC2. So that's the only one I could really think that's great. The rolling machine does a pretty good job of it. Um, but other than that, it'd be the metal press. And it's actually pretty slow. So, I mean, we could cast stuff out. I think just doing it by hand, honestly, uh, will be the best way to do it. So let's get ourselves some hammers. I mean, there are other solutions. Um, of for doing it, but for right now, I think this is going to be the best way. I'm just going to get a bunch of iron, gold, and we're also going to need copper for sure. Let's get some copper. All right, that should be enough for now. If we need some more later, we can course get into those but we definitely need this projector let's go ahead and get two optical sensors and an iron plate and bam all right so we have that all right let's get out of here so we're going to need this guy the electrical arc furnace i do know i need just the base piece for right now and i'm going to need these heat proof bricks so I do need to get some clay going. That I do know. So I'm going to get a little bit of clay going. We do have, of course, all this set back down here. So clay. Should be cooking up some clay really fast. I'm going to do some more just in case. All right. Oh, by the way, I forgot to I almost forgot to mention this. Um, last night I was playing around a little bit on the server. And I decided to go ahead and upgrade my armor. So I do have the full set now 
of uh, with the draconium helmet, uh, chest plates, and all that stuff. And the thing this allows you to do is hide the armor. You can actually make it visible to you and everyone else. Um, and you get permanent night vision um, if you want. Or you can have it set where when it's nighttime, it comes on. When it's daytime, I don't like that because when it starts flipping in between, it is a little bit weird. Uh, but it does give you flight and flight speed modifiers. You also get uh, jump boost and all that good stuff. So there's a bunch of cool things you can look at and, uh, of course, modify. But that is just something I wanted to show you guys. That's what I'm using to fly right now. No more wing, no more bobble. This is all uh, just using my draconic armor. And uh, I can make it go a lot faster than this. This is just, <laughs> this is just a little fast. Um, but my walking speed is actually upgraded, as you can see. And my regular walking speed is also upgraded. I can make it go a little bit faster, but I don't want to make it go faster. So, let's go ahead and pop this open. You hold, shift right click to get it to pop open. And uh, we're going to scroll through this list. And we're looking for the ele electric arc furnace, I do believe. Um, and if you hover over it after you click that, it does tell you all the things you're going to need. So, we're going to need one electric arc furnace. And we're going to need creative power input. We're just going to need input plugs. Power input plugs. Um, it looks like we're going to need three of them. We're going to need a uh, coil or copper coil or titanium coil or luna coil or iridium coils. So we need some coils. Um, we're going to need input hatch or output hatch. Uh, heat proof. Brick. Um, okay, so that's just saying we need an input hatch or output hatch or heat proof bricks. Um, we're going to need 72 heat proof bricks and we are going to need air. 15 air blocks, I guess. It's counting air blocks. Um, uh, we're going to figure this out as we place it. Um, it does go by level. So if I was to place it right here, um, this is the bottom level. And if I scroll, we can see each level. If I scroll while holding shift, we can see how big this block is actually going to be, the multi-block. It is a pretty big multi-block, so just keep that in mind. You can also, of course, break all these like this. And I think I want to place it... Will it go here? One more back, maybe? I think that works. Maybe not. Finding the location, that is going to be the biggest part. Okay, so I think that was good. Right here. No, still not good. I need to go one more back. So when you think you don't have this... There we go. That's where I want it. Um, and this is just temporary. I mean, we only, we're only going to need it for right now. Um, but let's go ahead and get some of these things. So I have my brick down here. I hope that this is enough brick. Should, should be. Um, if not, I'm going to throw some more clay. Just to be sure. Just to get that going. There we go. Okay. So back out here, back for the fun stuff. Let's go ahead and make some of this. Make some of the things we need. I know we're going to need brick. That's 48. We're definitely going to need more than that, I think. So we are going to need these heat-proof bricks, which require some magma cream. And this guy. Get out of here. Alright, so the magma cream, it looks like we can get them from here, which is really good. I do have a bunch of those. And it gives you 64. So we'll totally have enough. To build this. Okay, so the bottom layer. Is going to go just like this. Just a layer of bricks, and these are multi-block structures with us getting into advanced rocketry. Um, they are pushing the multi-blocks. Alright, so we're going to go up one. And you see we have an output and input hatch. Um, we also have 
this, and what are these? Output and input hatches. So I guess you can, it's saying you can have input and output hatches anywhere. I want uh, one input hatch and one output hatch. That's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and search those. So input hatch. Um, so here's an input hatch. It does require this machine structure, which is going to require some iron rods and plates. All right. So we got those, and we need one chest. And is the output hatch here? No. Let's do output. There's our output hatch. It's just a chest on the bottom. Make sure we get to go. Okay. So, input hatch, we can put that here. Output hatch, there. Good to go. The rest of it looks like just brick, right? Heat proof brick, yeah, for the rest of it. Looks good to me. He is going to be using a lot of this heat proof brick. For most of the build. And this is probably the largest multi-block that uh, I've had to make when using this. Um, so. Only gets easier. Alright, so there's our next step. We gotta leave the center hollow. When it said air blocks, I'm assuming this is what it meant. Um, we are also going to need place for the power. And I, if I remember correctly, it's on top. Um, and when it said gold coils, I'm, I remember there being blocks, like actual gold blocks. Can't quite remember. Yes, it is coils, but it is blocks. All right, let's look at coils. There we go. So we have gold, copper, titanium, aluminum, let's do gold. Was it only three that we needed? We only need three right here. And our heat proof bricks. Our coils. Go to our next level. And we're gonna have our power plugs. There they are. So, power plugs. Uh, we have the power input, which is all we're going to need. We're going to need these small batteries. All right, what kind of plates are those? Ten plates. Why didn't I think of those? So, let's get some tin. Not platinum. We want tin. There we go. Let's just make some tin plates. And we should be able to get the power input plug and we are gonna need three of them. So there we go. And we only need this one. And we're going to need three of them. Perfect. All right. And the rest is the heat proof bricks. Let's put our power here. And the rest is the heat proof bricks. There we go. And I do believe that completes our multi block structure. So there's our input and output hatch. Um, our power, I do believe we click this on here. Can't remember where we click this at. Let's see. Does it say in the hollow projector? Shift right click opens machine. Shift. Don't remember. Um, but we can give it power. I think that does complete the multi block. Right, we only need an input and output hatch. All we gotta do is give this thing some power. 
Um, we have three coils. Um, oh, we have to actually make the uh, unit itself. What am I talking about? What am I thinking? Um, I think it actually goes right here, too. Let's look on this one. Yeah, the electric arc goes right there. Wow, look at me. Look at me go. Alright, so we gotta actually make the uh, main unit itself. So let's pop that open. So here it is. Uh, it does require a few things, so let's go ahead and make the interface. We're gonna need some chips. Hopefully we have some of that dust and stuff. Uh, what are we missing? Oh, we're missing... We're missing some slabs. Wow. So I wanted to try out, you know, just, just something a little bit different uh, working in this pack, and I was thinking of things to do, and I totally forgot that this is even in here. That advanced rocketry, rocketry is in this pack. So there we go. So that should be it. We should be able to turn it on. Um, and we need to give it some power. All right, so we're going to get some plugs. Uh, what are we missing? Always forget that we need those. Um, we need points, not a plug. Really, we don't need to set three. I'm going to set three for right now. They all three do need to be powered, if I do remember correctly, for this to work. So now we do have power. Um, and what we need to do is give it some sand. I do have some sand. Don't need much of it. But I put sand in. It starts working. And this is pretty slow. Um, as you see, we have a, a speed modifier, it looks like. Of, uh, I guess that depends on what core blocks you put in here. But yeah, we do have a little bit of a modifier. This takes a long time. And honestly, we can't do too much until this is done. Uh, but the things that we can do, we can go ahead and take a look at. So uh, anything that requires silicon, uh, we can't use, or silicon. Um, but we can start making some other th other multi-blocks. Uh, let's take a look at a few of them. Um, so to get rocket fuel, that's something that we're going to need. We're going to need a chemical reactor, and this guy requires a silicon bowl. So, as you see, it requires a basic circuit, which we need a cutting machine for. Um, the cutting machine does not require that. So we can actually make the cutting machine right now. So let's take a look at the cutting machine. Let's go ahead and get the uh, base of this guy. What are we missing for a steel gear? There we go. And this guy. And I think that's just about it. We have everything else, right? Bam. Cutting machine. Alright, so let's see what we need for the cutting machine. That's where this guy comes in handy. Cutting machine, right here. Alright, so we can put this guy somewhere over here. Doesn't really matter. There's going to be machines really just everywhere. And I don't remember this guy being that large. Yeah. This isn't a very big machine. All right, let's put this guy over here for now. How about right there? That works. All right, so we have a power input we're gonna need. We're gonna need an output to hatch and input hatch. So we've made those before. So we're gonna need our input hatch and our output hatch. 
power. Power input. And what else do we have here? We have the actual machine, cutting machine block itself. Um, we have a saw blade assembly and a motor. So let's go ahead and do those. The saw blade assembly, which we're going to need the saw blade. And the motor. And I, I don't know which type of motor. Oh, it needs an elite motor, right? Oh, no, it can use any motor. Any type of motor. Let's go um, with not the elite, not that one. I think the elite requires titanium. We can do the enhanced. That's an aluminum coils. Uh, that requires titanium. This one requires steel. We can definitely do this one. All right, so we'll go with that one, with the advanced. And this does have to be, they have to go a certain way. So just like that, that's the wrong way. There we go, and our saw blade. Um, actually, I, it doesn't look that good that way, so I'm gonna put it this way. That looks much better. All right, so our input and output hatches, output hatch goes here. Input hatch goes here. Power plug. Click the middle block, the main main machine, and bam, we have our machine up and running. Perfect. All we have to do is give it some power, which we can do with a plug or a point. So now we should have power, um, and we can put logs and stuff like this through here as well. Um, it's actually a really good machine for that. So if we take our wood. You put wood in here, should be able to go through here, right? Let's turn it on. Yeah, and you can see an animation. So for one log, you get six, uh, six oak planks. Pretty good, not bad. Let's check in on this. Okay, so it's getting somewhere. Um, it's almost actually done with its first process, which will give us one silicon bowl. <laughs> see what I was meaning by how slow this machine is? It is very slow. All right. So let's take a look at some other things in the hollow projector. The lathe, um, I don't think we can make yet. Let's take a look though. Um, really what we're trying to get up to is rocket fuel. And really just taking the, going back in here. As you can see, we can't make the, uh, the chemical reactor. We need these basic circuits. And then we're going back from there. We can't make the basic circuits because we need a cutting machine. Um, and we also needed silicon bulls, uh, which silicon bulls are made in a crystallizer. So we're gonna need to make a crystallizer next. So let's go ahead and work on that. So the uh, crystallizer is just the same as all the other machines, pretty much with uh, with making a multi-block. Um, this this guy actually uh, looks a little bit different, though. Is a pretty cool looking multi-block, I must say. So there's our crystallizer. Um, I'm sure we're gonna need our input. Actually, I think this one requires fluids um, as well. So let's go ahead and pop this open. Pop our crystallizer here. And I'm gonna push this back. There we go. So an output, input hatch, crystallizer right there. Um, coils, copper coils, and then the power. Okay. Um, this is the top level. And then there's another level on top. So we'll keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Um, so what I'm seeing already is I'm gonna have a hard time putting power in this if I don't move it back a little bit. So what I'm probably going to do is set this guy right here. Just like that. I think that looks good. All right, uh, so we're going to need some coils. 
I'm guessing aluminum coils are even better than gold coils. I can't I can't really tell though. Um but these do take any of them. So we'll do that. Uh we're gonna do the same thing. We need power inputs and power input hatches. And output hatches. All that good stuff. Output hatch here. Input hatch there. Crystallizer. Power. All right, and then we can go to the next layer, which is quartz crucibles all the way around. So here's our quartz crucibles. Six of those. All right, and I think there's one more le level. No? Okay, we're good. Awesome, so it's set up. There we go. And we can access this, turn it on, make sure everything's gonna be running, um, and get ourselves power. So let's throw another one of these on here. Why not? If you have abundance of them, why not use them? Okay, so these guys are pretty much level with each other. Um, this one's kind of weird how it works, but uh, I'll explain it here in a little bit. Um, we should be able to put stuff in here. I think we got our first silicon. There it is. All right, and we should be able to pull it over the crystallizer. As you can see, it's going to turn into a silicon bowl. So if we put it inside the input hatch here, and make sure the machine is on, should do its thing, I think. I, it's been a while since I have used it. I thought there was something else that goes with it. Right? Okay, yeah, we need, a, uh, we need the silicon nugget that goes with it. So to even get started, you need two uh, silicon. Um, I think that there's no other way of getting... Yeah, there's not. Um, so yeah, you just have to wait for another one to process before I can even go further with this. But yeah, you would just stick it in here. Um, so what I, all I did was get some of the basement machines today. Um, I think I'm pushing on time just a little bit. But uh, yeah, I got some of the basic machines. Um, that you're going to need, and you're going to want to have these running. Um, yeah, because this is the this is going to slow you down the most. But I, I guarantee you, the next couple of episodes, this is going to be so fast that you're going to be like, whoa, 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 why, why did you, why did you go so fast? But uh, yeah, we're definitely going to be building some rockets, and we're going to be going to some, we're going to be going to space, and hopefully building a pretty cool looking space station. Um, so just some spoilers. <laughs> we will be building a space station and hopefully getting to that point, um, depending on how it was configured. I don't know how the uh, planets were configured, but I think that T Fox did. He mentioned something about configuring um, the moon and things like that in this pack. So should be pretty good. And I, I hope it's worth diving into this because uh, this is a pretty lengthy process to get started with this. But. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please over to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome, and as always, thanks for watching. Let's go.